Hello and welcome to our compositing tutorial on After Effects in Cinema 4D. If you would like to follow along, visit my page for footages and source files. Alright, so in this part I'm just going to try to create more and more assets for our scene. So I'm just going to delete, I'm just going to hide from the view um, this uh, lamps and everything so um let's yeah let's get into it um i'm just gonna go duplicate the two first and then i'm gonna call this to class so same thing i'm just gonna go to um the extrude i'm just gonna try to extrude like five and uh I'm just gonna try apply the glass material on the top one. I'm just gonna try to get it out. Well, I'm just gonna try to get it out like that. Let's see. All right, it's beautiful. Cool. Probably later we'll check the we'll check the <coughs> render material and um, maybe for the glass. Um, yeah, cool. So next, what I want to do, um, I want to create more um, stuff going on behind. And um, yeah, to do that, I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to zoom out. And uh, I think I'm going to put my planes inside the scene so that I don't really see them as well. Cool. And um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a cube again. All right, so now it's the same size. As you can see, now the cube is in the same size. All right. And uh, I'm just going to extrude it a bit more. Cool. And I'm just going to cut it using a Bezier curve again. So it's like this, then like that. Yeah, probably. And then I'm just gonna close this blind. Cool. So what do we have now? We have something like that. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna use the same technique again. So let's go fast. It's gonna create an extrude. We're gonna put direct and we're gonna create a a spline mask. We're gonna put it inside, we're gonna put a rectangle inside, and we're gonna put this plan inside, and we're gonna put A intersection B, and then we're gonna just duplicate this guy, and uh, alright, and then uh, okay, cool. Now we're just gonna get them both, we're gonna put like, um, I don't know, maybe 50 again or 70 perhaps and uh, we're just gonna give them um yeah i think we'd better first go to no need for cap and uh oh yeah let's just give them a fill cap just one cool and uh we might want to make them really big i just want to make them like a bit bigger cool and i'm just gonna take this extrude the first one, I'm just gonna, okay. So I'm just gonna Yeah, somehow like that. Yeah, just like Yeah, just like that. And um, yeah, that's cool. So we just put a more graph fracture and we put them inside the more graph fracture. <laughs> Call that blah block. Bottom. <coughs> I'm Sorry. So I'm um, just gonna go and uh, put it there. Okay. So let's see. All right. Beautiful. So we have that red thing. Um, as in um, other trials. All right. So it's up to you what kind of look you want. So me, that's the look I'm gonna go with. All right. So that's quite. Quite beautiful so let's create more stuff um what can we create um let's create uh, 
more things going on on the sides so I'm gonna show you a new technique now hold on I'm just gonna create for example um, let me show you if I go to rectangle all right beautiful and if I create another rectangle cool all right and if I get this rectangle to be really small like this that's beautiful great and if I use now instead of extrude we're gonna use a sweep a sweep means I'm gonna use an object to reveal another object how you just put them inside cool I'm gonna change the order okay cool so as you can see this rectangle this small rectangle is actually making the shape of that so if I put the rectangle for example quite big ah see that so it's up to you so what I'm going to do now um, something else you need to know is that this sweep is like a trim path and growth and then start just like the trim path so if we play with that we can animate it all right so I'm just gonna use it like this for example it's too big yep great and um, I'm just gonna call this the breeze <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna move it a bit all right cool Um, if you want to change the anchor point here, it's very simple. You just go here and you can just change the anchor point. Then when you are done changing your anchor point, you can just unclick it and there we go. All right, so we are here. Now, uh, all I need to do is maybe just duplicate again <laughs> and uh, move this somewhere else. Just this time, I'm just going to use another side yeah maybe I'm gonna use just something like that I'm gonna change the size of my rectangle maybe I want it quite long and a bit fatter yeah and uh, I'm just gonna move it I'm gonna say that it's like it's uh, transforming it's coming it's you know building each other I'm gonna change this yeah cool then um, I'm just gonna duplicate again I mean that's that's what it is I mean it's just it's just a duplicate work and uh, I'm just gonna push it down just this time um, I'm gonna change the end grow to something like that something like that and then I want it to be quite um, quite not fat probably like that but then I don't want it to be so fat yeah cool All right, that's pretty much cool. Now I'm just gonna give maybe this one, this one, this one. I'm gonna give it this one, and uh, we, uh, maybe who knows? Yeah, this one as well. Cool. Yeah, so this is what we have. So that's quite cool. I mean, this is how we build stuff. I mean, it's just, uh, just you know, random stuff. Just random stuff I mean you can create many 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 shapes I mean you can get um, inspiration from um, the links that I showed you for example and free and stuff and uh, yeah cool so the more you add the merrier um, what are we gonna do now um, we're gonna try and add uh, more more and more and more stuff um, for example I'm just gonna go and uh, I'm just gonna go and uh, I'm just gonna go and uh, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go I'm gonna create a new null maybe so that I can you know organize all this I'm gonna put it there and then I'm gonna call this um, um, the breeze all over cool all right so the same I'm just gonna put it down so what I need to do now I'm just gonna go and probably hide all that so I'm just holding control so that I pretty much affect everybody well 
Fine. Cool. So what I need to do now, I'm going to create um, a cylinder. See that? Cool. I'm just going to make it really thin. Then I'm going to rotate it. All right. So it's looking right in front of us. Now, I want to have a lots of it, like really lots of it. And to do that, I need to clone it, literally. And um, yeah, more graph, cloner. <laughs> and we're just going to put this one inside a cloner. We're going to have three cloners. But this is not the kind of thing that I want. I want kind of like a, a grid array. And I'm just going to create quite a while. Um, not too much again. Just keep it sweet and simple, exactly. And uh, I'm just going to play with these guys. All right. Cool. So remember what I said. I said that anything here is affected by the effector. Any MoGraph tool is affected by the effectors, as long as you select it. So I'm just going to select the cloner, go to MoGraph, effector, random. I want to random the position, yes, but in the same time, I want to random, hold on. I can random the, the, the position as I said. Right. I think I've created too much. All right. Cool. And I can also affect the size. All right. I think the size of my cylinder is big by default. Okay. Cool. So now let me see everything. All right. Um, better hide the scene. Cool. So I'm just gonna go and. Uh, Maybe apply a lot of material to this. All right. Then duplicate. Give a red. Then duplicate and give another material. So I will have a different sequence of uh, uh, sticks. So once again, I'm just gonna stay organized. And I'm gonna put it inside the null. I'm gonna call this sticks. Now if I try to render, yep. All right, cool. So um, this is um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Cool. So on the next um, part, we're gonna see how we can create the the blocks behind, um, so that we can give some busy um, environment to our composite. All right. So yeah. We'll see you in the, in the next part.